Hey, it's Acoustic Paint. I'm Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be decorating the cover of my new sketchbook. So I'm about three-fourths of the way done of my third sketchbook, and this is my fourth sketchbook, or will be my fourth sketchbook. And I decided, because I haven't decorated the cover of any of them, and I just kind of distinguished the number by putting like a piece of tape here and writing whatever number sketchbook it is, that I'm going to decorate my fourth sketchbook with book pages. We've got Mod Podge. Uh, I got it in matte, and I've actually never used Mod Podge before, so we're gonna be learning today. Apparently what you're supposed to do, according to my very in-depth 10 minutes of research, is you put a layer of Mod Podge on the book cover, then I don't think you wait for it to dry. I think then you put the paper or you put these on top of the Mod Podge, wait for that to dry, then cover it with another layer of Mod Podge. I'm getting tired of saying Mod Podge. I'm gonna go grab some scissors and we'll get started. So the two pages I really want to use are these ones because I want to have this visual somewhere on the sketchbook and then also this one just has lots of words on it. So I'm going to cut these up into pieces and I can't imagine I'll need too much because I mean I'm not covering a big sketchbook. So yeah, let's just cut, let's cut all these. I, should I do like geometric shapes? I kind of want to do overlapping so I'm just going to do kind of random shapes. Oh wow, what's happening? I've started. Man, <laughs> that was abrupt. James the First's Foolish Course. I was I wanted to like pick parts of history that I that weren't my favorite, so in case I wanted to go back and actually read this book, I could without missing like big important details. I think I have more than enough pieces of paper to start this project. So, according to this article, you take the Mod Podge. Oh, is it not closed? Is it closed? Oh, okay. So I have this over here, but I don't think that's actually gonna fit. I think I got two big brushes. Okay, so I'm back. I've got an old guacamole container that I'm going to pour the Mod Podge into and then use these brushes to apply it to the sketchbook. This is my first time using Mod Podge, so what am I, I maybe I should read the instructions on the Mod Podge. Okay, let's see. Is this gonna be tacky? I hope not. Anyway. And if I ruin the cover of this sketchbook, that, that's okay. It'll just be an interesting conversation piece. Like, hey, how'd you ruin your sketchbook? Ha <laughs> ha, well, let me tell you. Okay, so setting that off to the side, I've got some Mod Podge here. Are you supposed to wait for it to dry a little bit before you like apply the paper or, I don't know. I hope this dries clear. I'm assuming it would, otherwise it wouldn't be used for like finishes. How much Mod Podge are you supposed to apply? Like, it said like a moderate layer, but I don't know how much a moderate layer is. Oh gosh, you know what I didn't do that I should have done before applying this Mod Podge? I probably should have figured out where I wanted these pieces to go. Okay, setting that off to the side. Let's start with this one that's already covered in Mod Podge. we go actually that whew, I'm like shaking and I don't know why like I'm just gluing stuff this is like kindergarten level stuff here it's not hard but I'm still shaking oh oh no oh no oh good okay you can still kind of move the pieces once they're on here kind of oh no that's not straight <laughs> oh well that's okay next plan of order. We're going to cover this corner that I've covered right here, and we're going to cover it with some haste. Moderate amounts of haste. Ugh, I don't know which pieces I want to use. Nope. Let's just let's get some words down. Let's put some words. I kind of want to fold this piece under, but I don't want to glue my sketchbook cover to my sketchbook. So, we'll just assess that issue in, in the future. 
That'll be future Elizabeth's problem. I think I'm not following the instructions correctly because I'm kind of doing the quote unquote second coat like while I'm doing the first coat and I think that's okay. I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course it's okay. No one's grading me on this, but I just like, I don't want to mess up. I think we might get a little bit of like warping going on down in this corner because I think I got a little Mod Podge happy and applied a little too much, but that's that's okay. And now we're going to apply the second coat just to finish it off. It feels really nice, like it's matte, you can tell. I mean, obviously you'd be able to tell the light would gleam off it and it would be terrible, but this feels really nice. Everything seems to be pretty dry. As you can see, there is a little bit of rippling. I don't know if you can see that very well, but like down here and up here and over here. And I think I was looking online and I think that's because I applied the Mod Podge before the first layer was dry. So what the internet said was paint it with Mod Podge, cover it with paper, wait for it to dry, and then do the second coat. I didn't wait for it to dry, I just, did the first layer of the paper, then the second layer without waiting for anything to dry. Um, so if I were to do that again, I definitely would wait for that to dry. Also, it took me a little bit of time, but I trimmed off the edges here and then I folded them over. I don't know if you can see. I might have to go over that with more Mod Podge because it's starting to peel up a little bit and that might present a problem down the line. I still do have almost three-fourths of a jar left, so if you have any Mod Podge project ideas, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. But other than that, that's all for this video for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Be sure to share this video with, you know, anyone if you think they'll like it. And that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye!